Hello guys, uh, welcome to the machine learning mindset. Um, in this tutorial, I am going to um, show you how to create a vocabulary um, from a text and pre-processed text in a, in a rudimentary way for natural language processing purposes. So let's just go ahead and get started. This is Google Collaboratory as usual. Uh, we use this environment. It just provides us a nice notebook and Python interface that you can install and basically use packages. A lot of packages are pre-installed in this and it gives you a GPU access in case you would need it. So let's just go ahead and get started. I just connect, wait for that to be connected. Now it's connected. I'm going to install the TensorFlow text package at first. It is a package which provided by TensorFlow, which gives you a lot of functionalities for text processing. Let me just go search for the TensorFlow text. This is the page. You can see the URL above. TensorFlow text, the introduction is that, let me just um, rephrase Google. TensorFlow text provide a collection of text-related classes and ops ready to use with TensorFlow. So it gives you a lot of different functions for text processing. We use a couple of them in our tutorial. So, some of the libraries that um, I'm going to import, re, it's probably usually useful for text processing in case you need it. So from collections, import counter, which for um, class objects in Python gives you good um, appropriate functionalities that we're going to use and show. So I'm going to import matplotlib as plt in case needed. It's not needed in this tutorial, but it's the usual case. So I'm importing TensorFlow as TF, alias TF, and TensorFlow text as text. So let me just go ahead and get started. So this text alias probably is not the best alias. Let me just change it to TF text. So I'm going to load the libraries. First, I'm going to encode the text. It is a good practice to encode our text all, always as UTF-8, unless otherwise needed. So to show you to show you how to do it, I'm going to force a different format at first. So let me just get started. So this is our text in it, some some text that we already have. Let's get started with another tutorial from machine learning mindset. I just repeated that deliberately uh, to showcase something in the tutorial. So it's good practice to lowercase the text so we're not affected by you know caps and all those different things which may not have contextual meaning usually. So we lowercase it simply with the command lower, which is a built-in Python command. So we force the text plane to have UTF-16 at first. So let's say our text has UTF-16 or any other type. So we encode it and we have a text UTF-16. So let's say how we can make it take it to the utf8 so tensorflow tag has a um, nice functionality that it uses t as a, it uses as is so tf strings unicode trans code this is our text we have an input of utf16 so you should know what is the input encoding and the desired output encoding is utf8 and it does the job so in case you want to um, present that in a way that we can see that too, so it's going to, let's, let's just take it back to NumPy. So with this simple NumPy command, we can turn back uh, the tensor type from TensorFlow to just the regular byte, and we can decode bytes basically to the same, to the UTF-8 to showcase the string. Let's just run this to see what is going to be the output. See, we do have this string here, but let's just print this tensor before turning it. So it's called TF tensor of type white and the same text basically that we have. So it's nothing much different. So we just make those lines, make those changes in case you wanted to have the original string format instead of the TF tensor format. So let's just go ahead and start with tokenizing. So tokenizing, there is a definition, simply tokenizing is to split a text as a list of tokens, 
as the constituent than Alan. So, for example, a word is a sentence token. A character is a word token. A sentence is a paragraph, and so on and so forth. So, a paragraph is a um, document token. So, it's the definition of token in general. So it's very important for us because we are generally working with words or sentences as tokens, not just the characters or not any other things. So we need to tokenize text to make the format understandable for the machine. So TensorFlow has a very nice operator called Unicode Script Tokenizer, which is from TensorFlow text. I have to make this thing as TF TF text. So this is the tokenizer object, and we can use tokenizer tokenize the text that you already have here. Which is the the TF right, text. So I'm going to run this. So again, the tokens are extracted. I return back them to the regular type instead of the TF type with NumPy. This is for eager execution. It means it has a dynamic graph in TensorFlow and you can simply go back between TF format and regular Python format. It's very important um, basically for you to know how to work with TensorFlow instead of mere Python because TensorFlow provides a lot of functionalities if you desire to do machine learning and deep learning. It's better to um, customize the pipeline based on TensorFlow. So these are the tokens. And you can say it's our of byte type, but okay, let s get stored at different kind of tokens. So uh, now that we tokenize, let's just assign each of this vocabulary to basically a set of indices and the counts. So Sorry, my just my battery just went off. So here I'm going to do the same thing. So using the the set command, I'm going to return the unique tokens. So the set is basically a built-in built in Python command that returns the unique value um, in a list. So we enumerate this. We create the vocabulary as well. So you'll see each vocabulary, each vocab is unique vocab is assigned a number. So it's, it's very important for us to do the same thing to create a vocabulary for natural language processing because we do basically need to um, work with the numbers rather than the mere words. So yeah, in terms of the count values, you want, you want to see per word how many of them are in all vocabulary. So it's simple. So we use the counter as we imported there. So we operate the counter on the tokens. We get the keys and values and create our dictionary. So I write it once. Let me write it again. So you see let be all of the characters basically have two number of elements in the text above because that was obvious. Let me just remind you. So here we just copied the same text in the end of another, the end of the I copy the same sentence in the end of the sentence. So we have two identical sentences here. So now we finish with creating our vocabulary and tokenizing. There's an alternative approach. This is our text. We can use the prepare already prepared function of tokenizer. So this is the object TF caris preprocessing text tokenizer. Um, it just have the pretty much different kind of uh, basically. Uh, arguments, the, f the filter is going to filter out these special characters which may not really help in a contextual meaning. So this lowercase, this is split based on the space and blah blah different kind of things. So we just make sure that you understand this. You can just refer to TensorFlow TSP processing text and it's just a caress. Probably the TensorFlow API would be better, TensorFlow Text Tokenizer. So it just explained the argument and the methods that you can use. So here we use the method fit on text. Remember, when you use the method fit on text or the methods, you must put the sentence in a bracket, which is a list of basically sentences or documents. 
and then use the tokenizer world index. Let me just not put it in the bracket so you see the results. This is the word index that it's providing. When we don't put it in bracket, it just assumes each letter um, basically is a talk is a part of the sentence character basically T E. But when we put it in bracket, it just correctly considered as a whole sentence architecture, and then just now the word index is let's get started with other tutorial. So okay, that was a brief tutorial on how to create a vocabulary tokenizing and create a vocabulary for natural language processing and it's basically um, use tensorflow and caris as um, its tools specifically we use tensorflow text which is very very helpful for natural language processing so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, if you think um, you have questions I missed anything there are ways to improve this tutorial please feel free to comment below and ask questions i would be happy to answer them all thank you so much for your time see you soon